But that was the question. If you believe God is on your side, does that mean he's not on the side, or can he be on the side of somebody who I believes in know. I okay. know. I know my deepest, most spiritual beliefs. I don't know the belief systems of others. And, and nor do I, we control God. And nor do we, yeah. Okay. Um, I wouldn't know. You also said that you're Catholic and that you follow the Catholic religion. Um, and my question to you is, does the Catholic religion, as far as you know, uh, preclude immunizations? Does it permit immunizations? Or, or does it leave it up to the individual? We, we I believe have. you would have to reserve that question for the leaders of the Catholic Church, as was answered in our first interview. And we also think it's an inappropriate question. Well, do you, do you, do you know what the, what, what the Catholic religion says? Yeah, that it's an inappropriate question. It's an inappropriate question. That means you're refusing the answer? No, that means we, we, we reject the question. Well, that'd be, that, well, if you reject the question, you're obviously not answering. So if you don't want to answer you it, can interpret it you Mr. Palmer, do you, do you understand that it doesn't have to be a tenant of a particular religion? Ms. Palmer, I, I think I know the that? law pretty well. Oh, you do? Okay. Does Mrs. Haskey, because Mrs. Haskey is actually the ultimately, does you know PHL 2164? Have I you read it? Don't even answer the question. She's not here to answer your questions. Okay. You're here to answer our questions with all due respect. Um, you say in your letter, that vaccinations represent fear, anxiety, and mistrust in God. Um, and my question to you is that if God gave man the wherewithal to create vaccinations, uh, which has as their purpose to combat disease, then why would using them represent a may, may I mistrust in God? May I interject? Do me a favor, please. Yes. If you want to interject, can you please have the courtesy of waiting for my question to finish so that the tape can get it? I'd appreciate that. Sure, I, I really don't think I was rude. Maybe I jumped the gun by a few words. Thank you. So, While I put my... Let, me, let okay. me, let me, let me. We object, and the reason we object is that question does not go to the sincerity of Thomas' beliefs as they've articulated. It challenges the foundation of their belief. That is highly inappropriate, an intrusion on their beliefs. So we object to that question. Uh, let, let, me, let me explain to you my understanding of the law and I've been doing this for a fair amount of time, is that there are two issues here. One is whether the individual truly holds religious beliefs, number one, and number two, whether those beliefs are sincerely and genuinely held. You could espouse a religious belief, and I'm not, this has nothing to do with your clients today, but um, you could espouse something that uh, uh, yeah. nobody can question as a religious belief, whether it's sincerely held or not is something that may be subject to challenge, whether they're sincerely held. And you can espouse certain beliefs, which by their very nature, somebody could challenge as not being religious beliefs, although you may hold them sincerely. Um, having said that, um, I need to ask the question, which is, and I'll ask it again, and if, if your clients don't want to answer it, then they don't, I, I can't force them to answer it. You say in your letter that vaccinations represent fear, anxiety, and mistrust in God. And if God gave man the wherewithal to create vaccinations, which is purposes to combat disease, then why would using them represent a mistrust in God? While I put my tr trust in God to heal diseases, I also tr trust the judgment that he has given me to help a body in crisis. Hmm. I'm, not, I'm not asking you about your use of medication. That, 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 uh, you were fairly clear in, in, in what you stated. I'm not asking about that. You, you, you say that vaccinations represent fear, anxiety, and mistrust in God. And what I don't understand, what I'm trying to understand about that, is that, again, if God gave man the wherewithal to create these immunization agents, and the purpose of those is to combat disease, then why would using them, if God gave man the wherewithal to create them, well, why would using them represent a mistrust in God? How do you know God gave the wherewithal to create immunizations? How do you know Maybe the, devil the devil didn't. Did. You know, they're asking us to understand what God's plan is, and we don't understand God's plan. Hold on, hold on. So, taking what you explained earlier, is your question directed to whether or not that's a valid religious belief, or is it directed? I'm to asking her. Story? I'm asking them to reconcile that if if and, and and maybe their answer is we don't know that God gave, you know, that God gave man the wherewithal. If their answer is maybe the devil did, then that's then then I I, I accept that answer. You're asking them to reconcile the two statements. Yes. Oh. But, but um, 
that that assumes that religion always reconciles conflicting statements and beliefs. It's sometimes it belief. does, sometimes it doesn't. It's a matter of belief, so I don't see how the question can even be answered. Okay. If we want to get into a philosophical discussion about religion, well, well, that's often, one thing. Well, oftentimes we do in these settings. Well, I'm not sure that's appropriate. Well, that's, yeah. you know, you, you can I mean, advise you your could. client. To sometimes beliefs are ineffable, client, totally. ineffable as, as, as they are abstract. Sometimes they are difficult to describe and explain. Though I think I've done a very good job describing my religious beliefs and how they tie into refusing vaccines in my letter. Okay. Um, again, um, why is uh, using an immunization agent, which, um, I, and I'm assuming that uh, God gave man the wherewithal to create it. Now, if you're, if you're, well, if you don't accept, assumption. okay, well, that's if you don't, if you, well, where, where do you think it came from? I think, again, uh, you're, you're, espousing, you're, you're espousing a view, well, I don't know whether you personally hold it or not, it's irrelevant, but you're espousing a view that religion would support vaccination. No, I'm not. Well, you I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not espousing any particular religious belief. I'm simply questioning what they say here. That, and vaccinations represent fear, anxiety, and mistrust in God. And I, 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 I thought, maybe I'm wrong, that, you know, God put us here. Um, and, and, and gave man the ability to think and to create, um, and, and man obviously was able to create immunization. But that's your belief. Maybe that's you not are ours. Maybe okay. you are That's not ours. ours. So you can ask can your question to yourself. I think, and I think the point is maybe, yes, yeah, someone may believe that and take that right. view. The pundits don't subscribe to that Well, view. okay, then where, do, where, do, where, do, where did the immunizations come from? If, if God didn't give man, if you're saying that God did not give man the wherewithal to create immunizations. Why do they have to answer that? Well, because I, know where, where do you well, that's what I think. Well, they, but they, well, you said that either, no. either that's God a, gave that's man, an epistemological question. Either, they don't know. Well, we don't know where that came from. Either God gave man the wherewithal to create immunizations, as he gave man the wherewithal to create medications, or to create whatever man does create. Either God gave man that, or somebody else did, or some Mr. other Cohen, entity did. Question, that Cohen. can't be answered. I mean, that can't be answered. Sometimes religious that beliefs are be. inexplainable. As a matter of fact, the more abstract you get with concepts, like I was saying before, mm -hmm. the, more, the more difficult it is to describe, reconcile, or create a path of logic around. God's plan adheres to no logic that any mortal man can understand, is, in my opinion. Well, what is, God, what is God's plan as far as you're concerned? Mr. Cohen, I don't know what God's plan is. I'm waiting to find out, and upon my death, I will find out. And why do, why do vaccinate, why in your opinion do vaccinations represent a mistrust in God? God gave me a healthy body to inject disease. Okay, let me see here. Just for the record, is, you're referring to your letter. Uh, I'm referring to my letter right now. Right. It is worthwhile to point out, and I'm reading from page, let's see the number of pages. Um, Can you just tell me without reading from your letter? No, I'd like to read because one of my objections to this whole proceeding is that I covered each and every point in the letter that I took an effort to write out to you. So there would be no questions and there would be no need to um, sit here and spend time interviewing me or talking about my religious beliefs. It is also worthwhile to point out that the significant well, difference sorry, where between you the third page um, I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five paragraphs down. It's worthwhile to point out the significant difference between injecting a live or dead disease into a healthy body to prevent disease and helping a body in crisis with medicine and intervention. While I do not support the former, I believe it is inviting disease into the soul, I would consider the latter after adequate soul searching within my conscience and conversations with my God. Helping a body in crisis and violating a healthy body and soul with disease are two very different actions rooted in different spiritual motivations. Now, whether or not you understand that, that is my belief, that is part of my belief system. Except if you I, don't understand it, Mr. Cohen, please don't ask me any yeah, more questions. I, I didn't uh, ask you what the difference is or why you would subscribe to providing medication for a healthy child as opposed to immunization, uh, I'm sorry, providing medication to a sick child as opposed to immunization for a healthy child. I, I didn't ask that. That wasn't my question to you. My question was very simple, which was, why do you believe vaccinations represent a mistrust in God? It has nothing to do with providing medication to a child who's sick. It has, it has to do with the statement that you made one page before that, which was that vaccinations represent fear, anxiety, and mistrust in God. And my simple question is, why do you believe vaccinations represent a mistrust in God? 
Mankind states that if we do not vaccinate our child, he may become sick and die. However, I believe that God forgives all sins and heals all diseases. That is scripture directly out of the Bible, and that is what I believe. Do you believe it's a sin to immunize your child? I believe it is a sin. To, it is a sin. It is a sin against my conscience. Okay. In my opinion, mm -hmm. in my spiritual home, mm -hmm. it is a sin against my conscience to to immunize to vaccinate my child. Okay. 